Hi, my name is Debbie Daly, and I have a interior design company called Debbie Daly Designs. And I have been in the business for more than 30 years in the interior design industry. And so I um, am here today at the Restore in Bill Ricca. And I was asked to come and redesign a piece of furniture here and of course I love the Restore. I've been working with um, Habitat for Humanity and the Restore on um, actually one of their home builds and that was from 2011 on Rock Street in Lowell. So I love the whole concept of uh, the Restore where all the proceeds go to um, building new homes for families in need. So uh, what we're going to be doing today is I've s selected a desk because lots of people are looking for desks and they are on, um, there's a shortage right now because of home offices. So I'm going to dry brush and uh, this piece of furniture and transform it into something that's a little bit more up to date. And uh, the dry brushing I love to do, I love DIY. Oh, I do interior design, the DIY part is kind of my, uh, my passion. And so I do a lot of dry brushing with furniture and things that I have and sometimes for my clients where we can repurpose, upscale. That's what I love about the Restore. You can come and purchase something and redesign it and then um, your proceeds are going to a great cause. So that is what we're gonna do today. Okay, so this is the piece that I chose to dry brush today for the dry brush workshop here at the Restore. And the reason why I chose the desk again is because they are in high demand where people are working from home and children are doing uh, virtual learning for school. So uh, I'm going to start with the dry brush process. Okay, it's really easy. I'm an instant gratification kind of girl when it comes to um, home decor and doing something yourself. So. The first thing that I um, would do with this piece is you need to just lightly sand. So I have already in, um, to save a little time, I've already pre-sanded, but you just wanna lightly sand all of the finish just to scuff it up, just enough to scuff it up, not to totally take off uh, high gloss polyurethane and if you were going to select a piece to dry brush I would suggest don't select a piece that has a high gloss on it because you'll be sanding forever so anyway you just want to lightly rough up all of your surfaces which I've already done okay and prior to that I've taken off the um, hardware so this is the original hardware for me, with what I want to do for inspiration, I think it's a little dated. So I've already taken off the rest of the hardware and I'm going to replace it with something that I had purchased. Okay. So now that the hardware is taken off and it's sanded, uh, the next step is to, um, I want to step back a minute about your inspiration. So I found inspiration on Pinterest. And if you don't use Pinterest, it's a great search engine for ideas, for decorating, and for furniture. So I found three desks um, on Pinterest that I liked, and I selected one, actually a two-tone color. So, so I've selected new hardware, which is a black tea handle. So um, after we paint that, we're gonna put these on. But in the meantime, I wanted to make sure because the old handle was rounder and it actually discolored on the wood and we're going to paint it, that's great. It really hasn't made a big indentation. Um, if it did and you found a handle that was smaller and didn't cover that area, you just want to sand, you know, a little bit of that off there, which is what I also did. I um, pre-sanded that. So I'm just going to start with the dry brush process. So I've selected my paint colors, which is a black and a taupe kind of an off-white color and what you want to do with the dry brushing process number one is you take a paper plate and this is how you're going to be wiping off your paint because you don't want your paintbrush to be saturated with paint like you're painting a wall you want to have this dry um, effect this dragging effect with your brush 
So, here's our black pink color. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and I'm going to wipe it off. I need a little bit more. So I'm going to wipe this off here and we're going to start with the dragging process of, let's see, we'll start here. So you can see, so the whole idea of this technique is to make it look a little bit distressed. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see, and it dries quickly, which is also nice. So we'll continue with that here. So the idea is to just get your main color on first, let it dry, see if you like it, see if you need to touch it up a little bit before we go on to um, the second color. So I've actually dry brushed the front frame of the desk. I removed the drawers so I wouldn't get paint on that because that's going to be a different color, those drawers. So now we're on the top, which is really fun and easy. So you just want to drag your brush across the surface so you're having brush marks, right? So we don't want it to be solid, solid. We want it to give it a little bit of the distressing uh, look to it. That's the beauty of dry brushing. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so what I'm going to do is finish the top surface here, and then we will move on to the uh, drawers. So now that we've completed the first color of the Black Magic from Glidden Paint uh, on the desk, I'm going to move to a second color on the drawers. And that one is more of a a little bit of a taupey, gray, beige, grayish, whatever you want to call it. They call it moth gray. Actually, it's, it actually looks like a moth. So anyway, so we put some paint on the, page, on the paper plate and we're just dragging it over. We want to cover all of that honey color. There's a little bit of gold to it. And I'm actually okay because of this kind of golden finish on the desk if a little bit of it shows through. Because the colorway now is what? Black, gold, black, gold, and white. Okay, so that's all you wanna do is drag your brush with your second color for the drawer. And now that I've got the sides done, I'm actually going to put it in the desk so we can see how it looks together before we move on. Okay. So that's going to look pretty cool because this is the knob that's going to go on there. So we're going to move on to the other drawers and finish those. Then we're going to put a protective coat on it with um, my favorite Minwax product, the polyacrylic, which is not a polyurethane. It's a latex. It washes out off with soap and water, but it protects the finish of your dry brushing. So that's going to be uh, the step before we put the handles on. Okay, so now we put the second color on the drawers, uh, which was the gray moth. And now, as one of the drawers have dried, I'm actually going to show you the next step. This is the final step before we install the hardware. So with the Minwax Polyacrylic Finish, okay, which is a little bit more soupier than the paint. So you don't want it to be drippy. Okay, so you want to wipe some of it off on your paper plate. And this is, this process, we want to cover the whole finish. We want to cover the whole drawer. We don't want, we don't want it to be dragged like the paint because it's the protective coat of the whole finish. Okay. 
So it looks really shiny right now, but it's going to dry a little bit more of a matte finish. And you're going to do this process on the whole desk or your whole piece of furniture. That's going to protect it from scratching and marring. Okay, so the benefit of using the polyacrylic from Minwax is it's water-based, it's easy to use, uh, you can clean up easily, and it doesn't yellow. So as we're applying the final finish coat on here, you'll notice when um, you're painting it back and forth, it's like a milky finish, but it won't dry like that, so you'll see a little bit of whiteness just know that it will dry clear and you won't see that. Okay, so now we're at the final step. We finished the protective coat um, with the polyacrylic and now it's to put the new hardware on. So I wanted to show you this was the original hardware, which still would look good for that little bit more of a traditional look, but we want to bump up the style a little bit. So, I am going, I bought these little tea handles, and I wanted a little bit of gold. Mine that I ordered didn't come in time, and so the ReStore had these gold little washers or back plates. So we're going to use these as the back plate for the uh, hardware on the drawers. So we've already installed three. This is the last one. So I'm actually just going to put it on the back here. It's going to be kind of freestanding. And screw in the T-handle with my trusty little drill that I brought. And that is it. So there we go. Completed. So we went from a maple desk in a golden tone to a black and moth gray updated transitional desk. So this could be used for a lady or a man or a child, a teenager, but it's a whole new look and you can do all that through the ReStore.